principles of engineering, activity 2.1.2 beam deflection. Um, this is the Excel portion of the activity where you guys hand calculated this using the equations you know. But now we need to create a deflection versus moment of inertia graph where deflection is on the y-axis and moment of inertia is on the x-axis. So what you need to do is have Excel open. You should type in your name. Name at the top. Your name here. Then POE, your block number, POE number. And then the date at the very top. We'll start in this cell. We're going to modify these uh, rows here. So we're going to go beam, common name. You might need to double click this. OK, fit. Call this little b. Call this h. And then what other rows do we have here? Vertical or horizontal, so you can call this vert or horizontal. And then cross sectional area, just put area, area, inches, find that carrot side, shift six, two, that's inches squared. Spell area correctly. Call this I, capital I, moments of inertia. You can double click this so it could all fit. Two parentheses, inches, shift six, carat four, that is inches to the fourth. You might need a Carrot that right here. And then I believe the last one is beam deflection. So you just put deflection here. This is in inches. Which is also inches to the first. So if you want, you could highlight these. You could scoot them over to the right. So here you're going to have A, B, C, D, E, F. I think there's only six ways. A through F. And then here, if you want, you could copy paste these, highlight them, control C, copy, common name. There they are. Okay. I would highlight all this here, maybe center off the data. Let's bold these two because these are our two most important data points here. So let's uh, look at this. Beam A is in the vertical, beam B is in the horizontal. Beam C is in the vertical, beam D is in the horizontal. Beam E is in the vertical, beam F is in the horizontal. It's in the vertical, that means B is on the bottom, H is up and down. Or B is a shorter dimension, H is a longer dimension. So let's uh, go back to our Excel sheet here. Let's go vert, horizontal. Instead of copy pasting the pictures, we're just going to type in what orientation is vert, horizontal, vert, horizontal. Okay. So remember, a 2 by 6 beam actually measures 1.5 by 5.5. In the vertical orientation, the H is 5.5 and the B is 
In the horizontal or orientation, the B is 5.5 and the H is 1.5. So now let's look at the 2 by 8. 2 by 8 is 1.5 by 7.25. So in the vertical orientation, the H is 7.25. The B is 1.5. That means in the horizontal orientation, the H is 1.5. Remember, there are two ways to lay a beam. 2 by 10 beam actually measures 1.5 by 9.25. So the vertical orientation, B is 1.5, vertical is 9 point, so the H is 9.25. That means the H in the horizontal orientation is 1.5, and the base is 9.25. Okay, so we got this area. Area of a cross-section is just base times height, basic sophomore year geometry. So I want you to type in the equal sign, equals this times this. Sure, the cross-sectional area is 8.25. You could drag this. Instead of doing this five separate times, you just drag this, left-click, drag to the right. You should get all your area going to the right. Kind of cool. Moment of inertia. I'm going to get that equation from our activity, which is over here. Well, it's in the beginning. Remember, you've done all this by hand. I'm going to copy that. BH cubed divided by 12. Your teacher cannot prove that. It is what it is. So maybe I'll put that equation here. Oh, there it is. So maybe just put this here for reference. I equals BH cubed over 12. Mole of inertia, you need to type in the equal sign. I equals this cell, which is the B in that orientation. Time, fifth eighth. H, carrot. 3 divided by 12. In the vertical orientation, a 2 by 6 beam, I value, moment of inertia is 20.7969. Instead of doing this five separate times, you could just grab this and drag to the right. It should calculate the I value going straight across for all these cells. Deflection. We have our deflection equation that we use in the activity, which is pretty fun. Delta is FL cubed over 48 EI, EI, uh oh. So let's just paste that here. Okay, we can make this bigger, hopefully. Maybe I'll put this under here. So our deflection equation is. Delta max FL cubed over 48 EI. This is where your parentheses matter. And when you go to the activity, you have to know how much the guy weighs, 250 pounds. That is our F. Our length is going to be 144 inches because 12 feet is 144 inches. And our E, the material value, is 1,510,000. So we're going to have to memorize those three things. We have a tutorial here. Deflection equals, I believe that guy weighed 250 pounds. So go back to our Excel. You have to do our equal sign. Equals 250 times our length, 144. Carat is shift 6, 3. Divided by the slash by the question mark. Here you have to close parentheses on the bottom. 48 carat. E is 1,510,000 times the I. The I in the vertical orientation is the cell right above it. Close parentheses. This 250-pound guy will make the beam deflect 0.49 inches. Drag this to the right. As you can see, in the horizontal orientation, it should deflect more. A taller beam... In the vertical orientation, it would only deflect that much. Horizontally, it deflects a little more. And so on and so forth. Now we have to make the graph. This might be a good time to file save as this into your POE folder. 2.1 would be great. Maybe call this last name. Oops, last name. 
2.1.2 beam deflection. So I know it's yours. And you fold your name. Now we need to make a graph. So to do that, you highlight these two bottom rows. Go to inserts. We're going to make a line chart like this. That's not what we want. Oops. Highlight those two. Insert. I think we want a scatter plot. That connects the lines. Ugh. Maybe not that. Control Z's undo. Insert scatter plot. This guy with only markers. So it doesn't connect it. Put this graph right under there. Oops. Control Z undo. Put this graph right under here. So we have deflection versus the I value on the bottom. I want you to right click this to format the axis. So up here, when you click on the chart, click on this, let's go to layout, I need axis titles, primary horizontal, title below the axis, axis titles, primary vertical, so we just need the title, let's have a chart title above the chart, okay, this is deflection versus moment of inertia. Okay, you should have six points here, moment of inertia. This axis, oops, double click in here, it lets you delete all this. This is deflection, parentheses inches. And then this axis title down here is Moments of inertia in inches carat four, because it's the units are inches to the fourth. So now what I want you to do is go to view, go to page break preview. Okay. Basically, I want to make sure everything's on one page so that when you turn it in, I can see everything on one page. So you want to bring this dotted line over here. Everything's on one page. It's great. Everything looks awesome. Zoom in. Everything's on one page. Hopefully you see these six dots showing that the relationship as moment of inertia increases goes to the right. Deflection does something. Probably gets less. Zoom in. Make sure everything is within the blue border of one page. And this is your graph. Then what you would do is save it. Go to normal view if you want. Submit this Excel sheet with your name to the 2.1.2 Canvas activity. And this is how you can know how moment inertia and deflection is related. Six points because we have six separate orientations. Good luck.